Hi, this is Prompt Engineer. OpenAI has released a new paper titled Let's Verify Step by Step. Basically, it's built with the aim of improving mathematical reasoning with process supervision. Now, they have trained a model to achieve a new state of the art in mathematical problem solving by rewarding each correct step of reasoning, which is our process supervision, instead of simply rewarding the final correct answer, which is outcome supervision. In addition to boosting performance relative to outcome supervision, process supervision also has an important alignment benefit, directly trains the model to produce a chain of thoughts that is endorsed by humans. Basically, this is the thing. And on the left hand side, we have a reward at each step on completion of each step for the AI agent. On the right hand side where we have outcome supervision, here we reward the agent after the output is completed. And on the left, we reward at each step of the process. And it has been found that in certain cases, for example, reasoning cases or mathematical outcomes, when we want to conduct mathematical you know, thinking, a step-by-step -step reward step, which is also known as process supervision reward model, seems to be a better option as has been found out in this paper. Now we have already seen, we have already seen and we know how ChatGPT produce, you know, they invent facts, they produce falsehood or false results and they hallucinate. These are particularly problematic problematic in domains that require multi-step reasoning because a single logical error is enough to derail a much larger solution. That is perfect. We needed this solution actually because it is very hectic. It's very difficult to get any math results correct in ChatGPT. Now, outcome supervision and process supervision are the two things that we're talking about. Now, outcome supervised reward models or ORMs are trained using only the final result of the model's chain of thoughts, while process supervision reward models receive feedback for each step in the chain of thought. So this is understood. Outcome supervision and process supervision lead to similar final performance in the domain of grade school math, but OpenAI have conducted their own comparison of outcome and process supervision with three main differences. They used a more capable base model, they used significantly more human feedback and trained tests on a more challenging math dataset. They were able to show that the process supervision can train much more reliable reward model than outcome supervision, state-of-the-art supervised process supervised reward model to solve 78.2% of the problems. It has 2.6 times improvement in the data efficiency of process supervision and they have also released the PRM 800k dataset which can be found here. So they have released this dataset to further the cause of future research in this field. Now, we can see here, if we use a process supervision, we can see a much higher output, about 70 percentage of the math problem has been solved. On the outcome supervised, on the outcome supervised RM, we see a lesser percentage of math problem being solved. Let's look at an example. For example, here, this is the problem x to the power 8 plus 3 x to the power 4 minus 4 is equal to p1x p2x till till pkx where each non-constant polynomial pix is monic with integer coefficient and cannot be factored further over the integers basically these terms are in the simplest forms and they cannot be factorized further now we want to compute p1x plus p21 where x is 1 we want to compute p11 plus p21 plus pk1 so this is here GPT-4 successfully performs a complex series of polynomial factorization. The use of Sophie Germain identity in step 5 is an important step. So let's uh, look at the solution, how it is able to clearly think step by step. And this is an example of a, this is an example of a successful case. I noticed that the given polynomial has even degrees, x to the power 8 and x to the power 4, and only even powers of x square, x. So I can try to make a substitution to, to simplify it that y is equal to x to the power 4, then our polynomial becomes y squared plus 3y minus 4, which is a quadratic equation. I can factor this quadratic equation as y plus 4 and y minus 1. Okay, so the original polynomial is x to the power 4 plus 4 and x to the power 4 minus 1 because they have replaced the y's with the x to the power 4. Now I need to factor each of the factors further, if possible, over the integer. For the first factor, x to the power 4 plus 4, I recall the Sophie Germain identity, which says that a to the power 4 plus 4, b to the power 4, is this equation a square plus b square plus 2 a square plus 2b square plus 2ab into a square plus 2b square minus 2ab we apply this identity with a is equal to x and b is equal to 1 and we get this x to the power 4 plus 4 is equal to x square plus 2x plus 2 and x square minus 2x plus 2 for the second factor which is this x to the power 4 minus 1 I can use a difference of square formula, which says a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Applying this formula with a is equal to x square, 
and b is equal to 1 we get x to the power 4 minus 1 is x square plus 1 multiplied by x square minus 1 then i can apply the difference of square formula again with a is equal to x and b is equal to 1 so we get x square minus 1 is x plus 1 and x minus 1 so the original polynomial which is x to the power 4 plus 4 which is in step 3 x to the power 4 minus 1 this can be written in terms of these five terms x square plus 2 x plus 2 x square minus 2 x plus 2 x square plus 1 x plus 1 x minus 1 so these five terms now these are the irreducible factors cannot be factored further of the range of integers so p1x we so p1x will be the first term okay p2x will be this p3x will be x square plus 1 p4x is x plus 1 p5x is x minus 1 to find the sum of the values at x equal to 1 because we are putting x equal to 1 here so we put p1x is we replace x with 1 here so 1 square plus 2x or 2 1 plus 2 this is 5 p2x is 1 p3 is 1 square plus 1 which is 2 p4 is 1 plus 1 which is 2 p5 is 1 minus 1 which is 0 so the final answer is 10. So as you can see such a complex math problem it is able to solve when it thinks in step by step and each step is rewarded both are using the chain of thoughts the outcome supervision and the process supervision but here the reward model is set up to reward each step now this opens the door for very good research and uh, they have even released the data set so i urge you to start your research and publish some papers so if you like this video subscribe to my channel and i will be back with another interesting video other interesting videos in the future till then this is your host prompt engineer and have a nice day. Bye-bye.